Okay, so now we're ready to create a page. Um, we're in here with the Add New Page. And we'll come, first step is to come down here where it says Template. And we're going to pick one of the templates available. And we're going to start with the Sales Page. Um, we'll be using this section in just a minute. Let's go ahead and name my page. Now come down here, there's a meta description. This will be the description that search engines see and most of the search engines use what you put in here as the description on um, search results. Um, the description has a limit of 160 characters. Anything more than that, then Google feels you're spamming them. Um, the next section is meta keywords. Um, you have a teaser line and a headline. We'll just start filling these in a little bit. And that was actually my teaser that I had copied earlier. Um, if you want to change color of your headline, you can just grab this little circle and drag it wherever you want. Um, to get different color ranges, you just move this bar up and down. Or you can just type it in right here. I'll grab my... subheadline here. Um, you can also select the font for the headline. Just a little drop down menu again. Um, same thing for the subheadline. Um, Clickbank ID, I'll get to that in a minute. Um, Opt-in provider. The plugin supports Aweber, MailChimp, and GetResponse. Um, I'll show you that in just a minute. Um, first, I'm just going to show you the headlines and a little bit of text. And I'll just paste this in here. Save draft, and let's see what we got. So, just a little bit of copy pasting, and your website's already built unless you want to do some editing. Um, this here just uses the block quote which is just the B quote button right here. Um, the blue box you have to manually put this in. This is a, a div class of box. Um, sorry there wasn't a way to automate that. You'll have to put div space class equals box in quotes. Make sure you end the div. Now let's add, if you notice, notice down here at the bottom, I might have to slide this down. Notice down here at the bottom just the copyright and this is a link to the the main link of your blog. A little copyright notice. Um, Clickbank ID. Um, just type in your Clickbank ID there. Click Save Draft. Now you notice there's a Powered by WP Squeeze Page plugin, and this is actually your affiliate link to sell this product. Um, totally optional. If you don't want to, then just leave that blank. Uh, let's put in an opt-in form. Let's go with get response. Um, this will be the text above. Let's just go with free download. Um, J 
John Doe, Joe's List 1, and leave that at Submit for the moment. Now at the very bottom of the page, you're going to see an opt-in form. Now if you want to change the text that's on the Submit button, claim your free download now. And I probably wouldn't go much longer than that. And your button changed. So you can go a few more letters than that, but I wouldn't go any any wider than that. And that's it. You basically have a page built. Um, there's some other styling you can do. Um, I skipped right over this. Just notice the check marks are black. Um, check mark color. You can go black, blue, green, red. Now they're blue. They're blue in the box. Go switch it to red. And you have a red one. Now if you don't want to use the sales page, and just I, I just named it a sales page. You can use it as a squeeze page if you want. You can use it as a sales page you want. Um, I just named it sales page because this particular layout has sold millions and millions of dollars in product for many marketers. Um, um, keywords I should mention. Keywords are comma, comma separated and I put periods. And I didn't refresh. And there's your keywords. If you type the description, then your description would be in here. 